Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, in this session we are going to discuss about pipes and cisterns. The basic concepts related to pipes and cisterns we have already discussed in our first session of time and work. Basically all the concepts related to pipes and cisterns are quite similar to time and work. Okay, so uh, in this session we'll be directly taking the problems based on pipes and cisterns. So let's begin the session. Now let's take the first question. If two pipes A and B can fill a tank in 20 and 30 minutes respectively, if both the pipes are used together, then how long will it take to uh, fill the tank? The problem is quite similar to the problems on time and work. So uh, further we have to calculate the unit work the pipe A can fill the tank completely in 20 minutes while working all alone. That means in 1 by 20 minutes, that means 1 by 20th part of the tank will be filled per minute. Okay, isn't it? Similarly, the other pipe can fill the tank uh, in 30 minutes while work, working all alone. That means 1 by 30th part will be filled up in 1 minute. Now, if both of them, them are working sim, uh, simultaneously, then this work is done by A and this work is done by B. So in all, per minute, 1 by 12 part of the tank is being filled up. Okay, that means in all, 12 minutes it will take to fill up the tank completely if both the pipes are working together. Clear? Now let's try this question. A system can be filled up by a tap in 4 hours while it can be emptied by another tap in 9 hours. If both the taps are open simultaneously then after how much time will the system get, uh, system get filled? Now here we introduce a concept of negative work. This particular uh, tap is filling the tank and this uh, tap is uh, emptying the tank. That means every hour this particular uh, tap is filling one fourth of the tank. Uh, as you can, it can fill uh, the complete tank in four hours. That means per hour it will be filling one upon fourth part of the tank. And this particular tap it is taking nine hours to uh, empty the completely filled up tank that means per hour it is taking away 1 by 9 part of the tank okay so this is inlet pipe and this is outlet pipe since both the pipes are working opposite to each other that means we will put a negative sign over here okay this pipe is filling and this pipe is emptying okay the uh, system so So per hour the tank is getting filled, uh, I mean uh, 5 by 36 part of the tank is getting filled up. 5 by 36 per hour. That means to fill the tank completely it will take 36 by 5 that is 7.2 hours. Okay, so that is this option. We should be very clear about it that the first pipe is working as inlet pipe and the second pipe is working as outlet pipe. So the capacity of second pipe is to empty a completely filled up tank. Uh, just un, un, uh, listen to me carefully. Completely filled up tank can be emptied by this particular tap in 9 hours. Okay. So both the pipes if they are working simultaneously, one is filling and other is emptying. So it's positive work and it's negative work. That's why we have put up a negative sign over here. Clear? Now let's try this question. A tap can fill a tank in 6 hours. After half the tank is filled, 3 more similar taps are opened. What is the total time taken to fill the tank completely? Okay, that means this particular tank is taking 6 hours to fill the tank completely. And after half the tank, that means... Uh, the half tank will be filled up in 3 hours only. So 3 hours for half the tank. Now 
three more uh, pipes are three more taps are there so in all now four taps are there to fill half of the tank okay now one pipe is taking uh, is filling one upon six part of the tank uh, that is in per hour so four taps will be taking four by six that is two by three part per hour okay now if four taps uh, are running that means two third of the tank they will be filling per hour but we have to fill up only half of the tank now two third tank is being filled up in one hour that means half will be taking three by four hours that is 45 minutes so this three hours uh, for half of the tank and this three fourth hours for remaining half of the tank that means three hours and 45 minutes it will take to fill the tank completely if initially uh, for uh, three hours this particular tap is working and after three hours this and three more similar taps are working i hope you are getting me now let's try this question a water tank is two fifth fill uh, full pipe a can fill a tank in 10 minutes and pipe b can empty it in six minutes if both the pipes are open how long will it take to empty or fill the tank completely friends we can clearly observe that the capacity that means the time taken by a to fill the tank is more than the time taken by b the pipe b to uh, empty the tank right that means ultimately the tank will get empty okay so first of all let's find uh, if both the pipes are working together and if the tank is completely filled up how much time will it take to get the uh, tank empty okay so pipe a per minute it is filling one upon tenth of the tank and pipe b it is uh, emptying one upon six uh, part of the tank uh, per minute so ultimately it is in 15 minutes if the tank is completely filled in 15 minutes the tank will be empty okay so just listen to me carefully it takes 15 minutes to empty the completely filled up tank okay that means completely filled up tank takes 15 minutes to get empty that means two fifth but the tank is only two fifth full so if it is two fifth full it will take six minutes to get empty okay finally it will uh, the tank will get empty clear now see this question pipe a can fill a tank in 5 hours pipe b in 10 hours and pipe c in 30 hours if all the pipes are open in how many hours will the tank be filled uh, friends you might have observed that we haven't used even a single formula uh, to solve the problems related to time and work and pipes and systems okay so it's actually not required that i have already told you in my first session that it's not at all required to use many formula you just go conceptually and the problems will be solved very easily now here we are having three pipes now the the first pipe is taking five hours to fill the tank completely while working all alone that means per hour it is filling one upon fifth part of the tank this pipe is filling one upon ten part of the tank and this pipe is filling one upon 30 part of the tank and all of them are working together so one third tank is being filled per hour okay one third of the tank is being filled per hour that means it will take three hours to fill the tank quite simple Now let's see this question. 
pipes A and B can fill a tank in 5 and 6 hours respectively. Pipe C can empty it in 12 hours. If all the three pipes are open together, then the tank will be filled in. We have to find out the duration, right? Here, it's clear that two pipes that A and B are working in positive direction. That means they are filling the tank. And the third pipe is emptying the tank. Okay. So, pipe A, in one hour, it will fill one-fifth of the tank. Pipe B will fill 1 upon 6 part of the tank and pipe C it's working in the negative direction that means it is uh, emptying the tank that means it will take uh, its capacity is 12 hours that means per hour 1 upon 12th part of the tank will be empty if pipe C is working okay now it's quite simple just calculate it. So, this part of the tank will be filled up in 1 hour. Okay. So, the complete timing will be 60 by 17 hours. That is 3, uh, around 3 or something. So, this may be the correct option. Or, uh, it's we can just calculate it. It's 60 by 17 hours only. So, 3, 9 by 17 hours is the correct option. Clear? Yeah. Now let's see this question. Three pipes A, B and C can fill a tank uh, from empty to full in 30 minutes, 20 minutes and 10 minutes respectively. When the tank is empty, all the three pipes are open. A, B, C discharge chemical solutions P, Q, R respectively. What is the proportion of solution R in the liquid in the tank after three minutes? Uh, the problem looks like tedious but believe me it's quite simple it's uh, basically a problem based on ratio and proportion okay now the what uh, simple logic over here the first pipe is filling 1 by 30th part every minute okay just mention it over here ratio after 3 minute or ratio after 1 minute they will be same only okay obviously so 1 upon after uh, one minute, one upon 30th part of the tank will be filled up by uh, chemical A. One upon 20th part of the tank will be filled up by uh, chemical B. And one upon 10th part of the tank will be filled up by chemical C. Okay. Now just simplify the ratio. We multiply the, uh, we multiply the, these three to 60 with 60. So it's 60 by 30. It's 2 is to 3 is to 6 ratio that means after a minute the ratio of chemicals a b and c will be 2 is to 3 is to 6 okay uh, here we are talking about this particular chemical that means from pipe a chemical p is being discharged from pipe b chemical Q is being discharged and from pipe C chemical R is being discharged. Now we have to find out the ratio of R in the liquid. So it is 6 by 11 part. Clear? It's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. In all it is 11 part and the co contribution of a solution R is 6 part. So it's 6 by 11. You see there is no paperwork required at all. Quite simple problem. Clear? Now let's see this question. Two pipes A and B can separately fill a cistern in 60 minutes and 75 minutes respectively. There is a third pipe in the bottom of the cistern to empty it. If all the three pipes are simultaneously opened, then cistern is full in 50 minutes. In how much time the third pipe alone can empty the cistern? It's quite simple problem. Let's do it quickly. 1 upon 60th part of the tank per minute will be filled up by pipe A. 1 upon 75 will be filled up by pipe C. And the third pipe is working in the negative direction. That means it is emptying the tank. Let's assume it takes C minutes to uh, empty the completely filled up tank. That means in 1 minute it will uh, empty 1 upon C part of the tank and in all the tank is ultimately getting filled if all the pipes are working simultaneously and it is taking 50 minutes to fill up the tank so per minute 1 upon 50th part of the tank is being filled up now we just have to calculate the value of C over here clear so 
so let's calculate it that means every minute 1 by 100 part of the tank is getting empty by the pipe C that means in all pipe C will take 100 minute to empty the completely filled up tank clear now let's try this question a pump can fill a tank with water in 2 hours because of a leak it took 2 1 by 3 hours to fill the tank the leak can drain all the uh, water of the tank in okay quite simple it's positive work and because of leak uh, there is negative work and in all this is a positive work after an hour okay so 1 upon 2 that means half of the tank will be filled up per hour by pump A we do not know the capacity of leak so let's assume it to be x that means it takes x hours for this leak to uh, empty the completely filled up tank okay so per hour 1 upon x part of the tank will be uh, emptying okay or in all it's 7 by 3 hours so per hour 3 by 7 part of the tank will be filled up okay Now we can calculate the value of x. So x is 14 hours. Okay, that means the leak can empty the completely filled up tank in 14 hours. Clear? In this question, Two pipes A and B can fill a tank in 6 hours and 4 hours respectively. If they are opened on alternate hours and if pipe A is opened first, in how many hours the tank will be full? Okay, very simple question. Pipe A is filling 1 upon 6 part of the tank per hour. Pipe B is filling 1 upon 4 part of the tank per hour. But for one hour this pipe is working and for uh, next hour this pipe is working so whatever the part is being filled uh, this, this will be 5 by 12 part of the tank is being filled in not only and uh, not in one hour but in two hours isn't it first of all a is working then b is working further a is working then b is working then a then b something like that so first in first hour a is working and in the uh, second hour b is working so in two hours 5 by 12 part of the tank is filled up further in next two hours 5 by 12 part of the tank is filled up that means after four hours 10 by 12 part is filled up this plus this is 10 by 12 or we can say 5 by 6 part is filled up now what is the remaining part that is 1 upon 6 only now here comes the turn of A. A is taking 6 hours to fill the tank completely. That means 1 upon 6 part will be filled up in just 1 hour by A. Okay. So it's 4 hours and this 1 hour. That is 5 hours in all it will take to fill the tank completely. Clear? Now let's try a similar type of problem. Three pipes, uh, three taps A, B and C can fill a tank in 12, 15 and 20 hours respectively. If A is open all the time and B and C are open for one hour each alternately, the tank will be uh, full in. Now there is a combination of A plus B for first hour, then A plus C, then A plus B. Okay, so now for first hour, a will be filling 1 upon 12 part of the, of the tank and B will be filling 1 upon 15 part of the tank. Okay. In second hour, A will be filling 1 upon 12 part of the tank and C will be filling 1 upon 20th part of the tank. Okay. 
okay further a plus uh, a and b will be working so further 9 by 60 of the part a uh, 9 by 60 part of the tank then a and c so further 8 by 60 so let's see uh, when do we get uh, the sum of 9 uh, that is numerators more than 60 I just write it over here it's first R it's second R it's third R it's fourth R then in fifth R further 9 by 60 in 6 R further 8 by 60 let's sum them up 9 is coming for 3 times that is 27 and 8 is also coming for 3 times that is 24 that is 51 part uh, 51 by 60th part of the tank is being filled up in 6 hours ok 1 2 3 4 5 6 so in 6 hours now after 6 hours further A and B combination will be there and A and B combination is filling 9 by 60 part in 1 hour now how much tank is left to be filled up that is 9 by 60 only isn't it it's 51 by 60 so remaining portion is 9 by 60 that will be filled up by combination of A and B in 1 hour so after 6 hour it will take one more hour only to fill up the tank by A and B so 6 plus 1 it will take 7 hours to fill the tank completely ok now let's try this question two pipes A and B can fill a cistern in 12 minutes and 15 minutes respectively while a third pipe C can empty the full tank in 6 minutes ok now A and B are kept open for 5 minutes in the beginning and then C is also open in what time is the cistern B uh, cistern emptied ok now let's try per a minute 1 upon 12 part of the tank is being filled up by pipe A 1 upon 15 part is being filled up by pipe B so nine by sixty part of the tank is being filled up per minute okay now a and b are kept open for five minutes so in one minute nine by sixty part is being filled up so in five minute three-fourth of the tank will be full okay now this is the first part of the problem after 5 minutes all the three pipes are working simultaneously ok that means 9 by 60 part is being filled up per minute and this 1 by 6 part of the tank is emptying per minute ok so it's in 60 minutes the completely filled up tank will be emptied ok further I repeat in 60 minutes the completely filled up tank will be uh, emptied ok but how much tank is filled up it's 3 fourth only isn't it so if full tank takes 60 minutes to get empty that means 3 fourth tank will be taking 45 minutes to get empty ok quite simple there are actually two problems involved in this particular problem a very nice problem <laughs> uh, friends I hope you might have enjoyed the session uh, we will be taking more such problems in our next session do revise this particular session and the previous sessions of time and work so you'll uh, feel better in the next session bye bye